we're going to simply take this confirmation page and set up a custom audience and set up a custom conversion. Okay. And, and again, no matter what business you're running ads for, that's what it's all about. It's all about conversions, running conversion ads to a confirmation page. That's it. So, yes. so, so now that you have it copied, let's go to your ads manager and let's just simply, um, we'll X out of this one. And then um, let's, let's just go to, yeah, to the, we'll go to um, custom audiences or we can go to events manager first. Yeah. From here, let's just go to um, custom audiences. So hit the, hit the three lines to the left and then just um, go to audiences. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So events manager. Yeah. You can go there first. The events manager is where you set up the custom conversion and then audiences is where you set up your custom audience. So we need, we need both. We need to set up both of them. So, but we'll, we could start here. So we always want to make sure when the right account, right, yeah. the, the top right, that's the right account. And then to the left, you see the main pixel. One with the picture, isn't it? Or not? Yeah. Is it that one? Yeah. Go ahead and choose that one. And then just always make sure that this pixel is the right it's one. Got everything on it. I okay, think that's so the same one. That's one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so then let's just do this. Hover over the blue triangle to the left and just go to custom conversion. Okay, so we have we have these custom conversions over here. Um, and it's going to be, well, yeah, that scheduled appointments at the very bottom, the inactive one. Go ahead and click on that real quick. See what link that is. That is, yeah, see, that's the Calendly one. So let's just get rid of this one. So hit manage, and then just, um, you'll see a drop down next to rename, and yeah, we'll just delete it. So let's just set up a whole new one since we have the new link. So we'll hit the blue button, create custom conversion. Okay, and then, and then we'll hit the drop down. Yep, we'll find our pixel. Okay, perfect. And then now what you'll do is you'll just click on select your own category in blue. Select your own category. And this one, yeah, hit the drop down recommended. And all you're looking for for this specific conversion is scheduled. Um, let's go down. I think it's scheduled. Um, where did it go? Actually schedule right above schedule. Yeah, that one. And then just paste in that link right there at the bottom, add URL keywords. Yeah. The link goes there and then, um, name it at the top and you could just name it, you know, the same scheduled appointments or whatever, whatever makes it easier for you. Okay. Perfect. And then create. Okay. So now what you want to do oh, is... Yeah. No, you le you can leave it there. You can leave all URL traffic. Just leave it there. All you're changing is the bottom one is that schedule. So we're good. So we click on create. And then as we create it, go ahead and um, click on actually, no, 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 not done yet. So let's go to um, let's go to and number one. It says in business manager, go to your settings to assign the custom conversion to your business ad account. So let's click on number one, go to settings. So over here, all it's going to do is want us to it, it, Facebook's going to want us to, to connect it. So we're right here, custom conversions is schedule appointments. So now click on add assets right there at the top, add assets. And we're going to simply connect it to the ad account. So find your ad account. Perfect. Okay, cool. Add. And then we're good. Okay, good. So that so that was number one. Hit done. Now let's go back to that other tab. Or you could refresh it. Can you refresh this one? Go back to the other one and just refresh it. And then click on connected assets to the right of partners in blue. So connected assets. Click on that and you'll see your ad account. Okay, perfect. We're good. Okay, so you can X out of this tab and let's go back to the to the other tab. And then we'll do number two. So in events, um, so now we'll go to the configuration part. And this is where we'll just simply line up 
um, the, the custom conversion with with the actual event. So now we'll look at so beard. Where is the so beard one? Okay, domain verified. So that's so beard. Yep. Manage events. David, you're recording this one. Yes. Edit. Record. Ledge. And then we'll come over here and we're going to add event to the right, the, the green button. Yeah, now we can then see it. There's the two drop downs. So now we're going to choose our custom conversion. We're not going with a pixel, we're going with a custom conversion. Mm -hmm. And then to the right, choose an event. You're going to look for that one. So the one that we just created, which was scheduled. So you have two of them. So <laughs> one of them was, was one that we were supposed to delete. Um, I don't know why it did not delete, but it's, um, and the way you can look at it, let's, let's look at this real quick. Go to, um, open up, open up um, a new tab. Actually go to, go to the confirmation page, go to the actual confirmation page. Where's the, um, yeah, refresh this page real quick. Okay, and then check the pixel helper. Perfect. Okay, cool. So the scheduled appointments, click on that scheduled appointments, the black one. Yeah. So look at the um, conversion ID. This is 379. Okay, so go back to the other one, match up that one. 37952. 37952. 37952. Perfect. It's that one. Okay, cool. So now submit. Yes, I confirm. Apply. Okay, so that right there, bro, that right there was the whole, pretty much the whole iOS update thing. Now we have to create the custom conversion. That's what we did. We set up a custom conversion. Then we it took us to the business settings where we connected the, or we, we yeah, we integrated the ad account with the custom conversion. That's what we did in the business settings. Then we came over here and clicked on manage events and we lined up the two events, the custom conversion with the schedule appointments. That's it. So, so that when it comes to a custom conversion, when it comes to capturing leads for any freaking business, bro, that's what it's all about. They set up the custom conversion and, and setting up this, this web event, aggreg aggregated event measurement. So I can now, you know, come in here. Oh, we got but, to set up the aggravated event management. What's that? Have we got to do something else at aggravated event management, do you say? No, no, we're good there. So go ahead and refresh this page, refresh this one. Okay, so we're we're good here. What we got, what we need to do though is we need to take out that other that other custom conversion. Let's um so that one's good. So now click on the other tab at the top, 99. It's one of those. Let's go back to the custom conversions. So um click on one of those tabs at the top. Yeah, that one. Okay, so hit done, hit done right here. Okay, so now let's refresh this page. This inactive should show active. Okay, so there is the, where's the schedule point? Okay, so what is, it's the one at the top, the second one down. So that's the one that's active now. So this other one, we wanna be able to delete this other one, the one at the very bottom. We wanna be able to delete this one. Actually hit, hit the back button. Okay, so click on schedule to the left. Yeah, right there, that's fine. And then try to delete it again, hit manage, and then just um, hit the drop down, delete, delete. Okay, so so as long as that one's active, the three seven nine five two, to the very left, you see that ID number. Oh, here, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what it's all about. So that that's what it's all about, man. Is 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 this part? And then um, and then now as you go in, so now let me show you. Okay, so just to recap, we set up a custom conversion. We did that part by hovering over the blue triangle, clicking on custom conversion, and setting up that custom conversion. And then Facebook took us to the business settings where we had to connect the ad account with the custom conversion. And then Facebook brought us here where we had to hit the two drop downs. One drop down, we chose custom conversion. The other drop down, we chose the custom conversion, which was scheduled appointments. That's number one. That's why now, right where the yellow triangle is, it says number one, right? Because now there's one event tied to that domain tied to that conversion that's the one okay that's the schedule appointments so these two so the left custom conversion to the right the actual custom conversion that you set up right 
So, yeah. so, so that's, that's all you got to do, mate. That's it. That's it. So now, oh, yeah, what's that? Well, I've just, I've got to go, go away and we'll rewatch these videos and um, yeah, yeah, for you know, sure. Maybe, maybe make some notes and then I'll, I'll just sort of, you know, strategically try and make my, my way through it and set it up for the other clients. Yeah, for sure. And, and so now let's take the, the, the appointment confirmed, go back to the, so beard, copy that link again, just the do, just the URL, not the www. So just, yeah, just that part. So now what we want to do real quick is set up a custom audience, which, which I don't, yeah, I don't think we have one set up. So go back to just hit the three lines to the left. You can just X out of all of the, leave one of them open. We'll just work out of one. Okay, cool. So now hit the, um, hit the three lines to the left and just go to audiences. Okay. So just the, the two basic things, setting up the custom conversion, which is what we just did. And then now we're going to set up the custom audience. Now that top one, go ahead and, and see what link that is that scheduled appointments. Yeah. What link is that? Go ahead and go ahead and open it up and check the box to the left of it and just click on edit. So just, yeah, check the box, click on edit, and then see what link this is. Okay, so that's the Calendly one. Okay, perfect. So let's just delete this one. Let's X out of this. And then we'll just, um, the box is checked and we'll just click on delete. So yeah, X out and then just um, hit delete. Let's delete this one. Okay, perfect. So now what we'll do is we will set up, create audience, click the blue button, and we'll just set up the, the new custom audience. And so, We'll go website. And then now we're gonna make sure the pixel is the right one. We're gonna click on the all website visitors. That's the only one we need to we need to hit the drop down on. The next one, all website visitors. No, not that one. All website visitors, the events. Yeah. Okay. So now go to specific. You're always gonna go with specific. Okay. Always go with specific on the custom audience. This is the custom audience. So what what, what I, when it comes to the retention, you got 30 days, right? So the, re, the retention, all that means is Facebook is simply gathering all the data of people who have landed on this page in the past 30 days. Yeah. Now, with certain ad campaigns, that could be good. You can drop it down to 14 days. You could drop it down to one day. You, can, you could take it to the max of 180 days. So you're, you're working with one day to 180, right? But here's, here's my whole thought process with it. When it comes to this specific link, this specific audience, these are people who have scheduled an appointment. So the reason why this audience is so important is because this is an audience, when I start to run more ads, this is an audience that I need to exclude from seeing my ads. Yeah. Because they've already scheduled an appointment. They don't need to keep seeing your ads. There's not, it's not going to be a large audience, David. It's pro I'd be lucky to get 10 in that audience. Of people no, bro, as you continue to crank it out, as you move on and, and run ads from this point on, that, uh, that audience will continue to grow. You know, even, even, even as you just have people schedule an appointment, not from an ad, you know, anyone, like if I have anyone that goes to, goes to my calendar, like you, for example, you went to my calendar, you landed on my thank you for scheduling page, you're now in that audience. You didn't come from a Facebook ad. You came organically just by going to my calendar. So yeah. as everyone and anyone goes to your calendar and schedules an appointment, they're going to land in this audience, regardless if you got them from an ad or not. Yeah. Yeah. So like, for example, the automotive guy, he goes to your calendar, schedules an appointment with you because he wants to talk to you tomorrow. Okay, cool. He's in that audience. So, yeah. so, so now as I run future ads, I want to always make sure I exclude this audience. And so what I was going to say is the retention, the 180. So yeah, I want Facebook to continue to put people in this audience for 180 days. So anyone who has visited my calendar in the past 170 days, they're going to be in this audience. Yeah. So, so, so um, that's important. Audience name, go ahead and give it an audience name. Same thing, scheduled, scheduled appointments. And so this, this audience, as, it as you continue to run future ads, it will grow. And so you can use it. Go ahead and click the blue button. You can use it 
for for excluding, which is what I'm saying, which which is what I'm trying to explain, is 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 the ability to exclude them from seeing future ads. But you can also run an ad straight to them. That 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 also works too, you know. So so anyone who has who has maybe not done business with you yet, they scheduled an appointment, but they haven't came on as a client. Right. I can easily run an ad straight to that group and give them a specific message that would relate to them. Hey guys, this is Rick. Just wanted to just wanted to come into your newsfeed real quick. And and I know you scheduled an appointment with me a few a few days ago, but let me tell you what what we just did with this yoga studio and why you're gonna be so excited to want to talk with us. Or you yeah. or, or why you're gonna be so excited to want to work with us. Yeah, yeah. Right? Very, very specific message to a very specific audience. So it yeah. can go both ways. I can run an odd, a, a totally a, a total relevant message to them ad, or I can just exclude them from seeing other ads. You know, so so yeah. Go ahead and click the blue button, create audience, and that's it. So custom conversion, custom audience. That's what it's all about, mate. Yeah, and then I might create a lookalike audience at some point, but basically I'm gonna you know run a, run a video, probably video views. Mm -hmm. And then start retargeting, you know, users yes. that have watched ninety percent of the video, um, as well. And then obviously, anyone that I get through to what? anyone that clicks, you know, learn more and goes through to my website and has a little butchers of that, then I'll retarget them as well. Yeah. What What you want to do is you want to. Um, I'm glad you brought up the video. You want to you 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 don't want to create audiences around around ninety percent. Because that's going to be a small audience, no matter no matter what who or what you are. Like it's going to be a small audience. So what you what you watch? Cl let me show you. Click on create audience. Hit the blue button. Go to um go to custom audience, and then click on video. And then let's go next. And then let's just look at all the different options. So hit the drop down engagement. Hit that drop down at the top. So here here you have three seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, which yeah. is a through play. So, so the probably do fifty percent if it was like a thirty second video, maybe. Yeah, if it was if it was a thirty second video, you can go you can go fifty you know you can go fifty percent, or you could have just went fifteen seconds. Yeah, you know. So, so yeah, here's, yeah, what I'm, here, here's what I'm trying to say: the higher percentage, the lower the the, the smaller the audience, right? So, yeah. so what you want to do as you start to make video, if you are going to do video, what you want to try to do is get as much information not 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 information but but maybe give them give them some type of 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 reason to watch in the first 15 seconds yeah. so let them know exactly what that video is going to be about in the first 15 seconds now it might it might be a it might be a 3 minute video that's fine but in the first 15 wow. seconds i told you what this was about to be about there's two of them here ready to go they're just shitty videos, all that crap, you know. So they're they're ready to be run. Yeah, yeah. So, so but but here's what I'm trying to say though, if you can if you can if you can mention as much information in 15 seconds, and I'm gonna give you an example, but if you can if you can give as much information in that 15 seconds, then 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 what I would start doing is creating audiences around 15 seconds. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. going to be the biggest audience, and it's going to be people that actually know what the hell you were talking about. So, yeah. for example, in my first 15 seconds, I would say something like this. I would say something, hey, guys, thank you. So like, let's say, for example, I'm going after yoga studios. I would say yeah. something like this in the first 15 seconds. Hey, guys, this is David. In this video, I'm going to simply show you how we were able to get 300 leads for this yoga studio down the street and 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 how we have so many yoga 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 companies that are wanting to to wanting us to do the same thing for them um and i'm going to show you how we did it in this video yeah right so in the first first few seconds that that took me down six seconds i was yeah, able to yeah. tell them exactly what they were about to watch yeah yeah so so now if i create an audience around those who watch 15 seconds yeah they may not they may not have watched 17 18 19 or 20 seconds but at least they watch 15 seconds and yeah, I told them yeah. exactly what was going on in that first 15 seconds. Yeah. So, yeah. so they, so I captured them as a 15 second audience. Now I'm going to go show them another ad. Yeah. Right. So, so I would go off of 15 seconds or I would go off of 
Yeah. One of those. Yeah. Okay. So that's on, on video, but yeah, as you start to put out video, um, and, and video views, video views is, is only, only, only for the custom audience. That's the only reason why you would run a quote unquote video view ad. It's only to capture the audience. That's yeah. it. So it's not, it's not for anything else. It's not because again, in our, in our business, in your business, in what you're doing for other businesses, it's about the conversion. So it's not about the video view. It's about the conversion, but I'll run a video view ad to simply capture the 15 second audience. And then I can turn around and run them another ad in the future under conversions. Yeah. Right. Retargeting one. Yeah. So we would retarget them with conversions and, 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 and try to get them to, to, to opt in that way. You know, so, so that's, that's what it's all about, mate, is, is those, that confirmation page and, and the custom audience and the custom conversion. So any well, questions on this part? Yeah, no, legend, mate. Thank you. I think I'll, I'll go away, give, um, you know, relay this info to Simon, try and get that, the website sorted. And then I'm going to test um, some ads this week with this new, you know, with the new audiences and stuff and try and try and get it growing. In the very beginning, what I wouldn't do is I, I, I probably wouldn't retarget um, people who currently like your page. Um, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't know I if I would retarget that website visitors. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah, that's, that's website visitors. Um, yeah. You can retarget that audience and then schedule appointments. The audience ain't, ain't big enough yet, but, but the, um, the website visitors, you can for sure retarget, but this in, might even be set up right anyway. What's that? This might not. Like to, to reschedule, to, to retarget um, website vis visitors. So beard.com. So that is set up right. Yeah. Okay, days. so so here's what you want to do. Okay, look, I'm glad I'm glad we're looking at this. Take out that Calendly one, yeah, X that out, and then and then go back to your confirm your so beard confirmation page. It's that link. So this one. So grab this one, and and paste that one there. Wow. So so, when it comes to custom conversions and custom audiences, or actually no, when it comes to custom audiences, everything is very specific, right? So so in this case. It's a web. It's a web visits 180 only, meaning they have not landed on the appointment confirm page. Yeah. Right. So update audience. Yeah, that's all you need. One update. Yeah, perfect. So done. And that that audience. Yeah, that as that audience continues to grow. Yeah, you'll always want to retarget your web your website visitors. Yeah. Those who landed there but have not scheduled an appointment yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So so that right there is the blueprint. Um I just, I just, I just you man, I should have I should have took you through my full blown Facebook ad like training, bro, because I don't I don't know if you're gonna run those ads the right way. Like I really don't. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, but setting up setting up setting up multiple ad sets is, is depend on the business and depend on the location. Like if, if these are just local businesses, then, then maybe you don't need multiple ad sets. So as you go and run an ad, you click the green button and, and you come in and you create, like, for example, I just, um, let's see what I think it was. It was yesterday's video. Yeah. Yesterday's video on my YouTube channel, watch that video. So, so yesterday, yesterday's video on my YouTube channel, that's where okay. I'm walking a client through beginning to end on how to run multiple ad sets. Now, she is building a nationwide business, so that's where multiple ad sets make, make sense. But if you're running ads for local businesses, you may not need that. But, but at least you'll know how to do it. At least you'll yeah. know how to do it. Like that's, what, that, that's, that's a major, major part of targeting when you're running a conversion ad is multiple ad sets. And most don't do that. So I would watch that video just so you have that knowledge because it's a pretty detailed tutorial. Like I'm walking her through in real time. So it's not just a video I made. It's actually a training video that I'm doing with a client. Yeah, so yeah. Um, you'll get some, you'll, you'll, you'll get a lot of value out of that one. 
I'll check it out. Thanks, dude. Yes, man, for sure. But jump, find out what's up with that page or not find out, but just have, have your buddy update the page, the confirmation yeah. page. And then, and then anything else, man, let me know, schedule another call and we'll jump back on as many times as you need me, bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Um, just trying to rescue the sinking ship. <laughs> oh man, for sure. For sure. For sure. All these ones that are blue, when you get a minute, turn them all off, you know, turn them all to gray, turn them all to gray. You know, that'll make it a little easier for you in the future. Um, cool. All right then, bro. Well, I think Sounds that's good. it. Let me, let me um, pedal away to my boy and then um, we'll uh, try and get that. And then can I just book another call with you when this is sorted? Yes, but mind sir. you, I think, I think it might be pretty much done then, but. Yeah, if you need me for anything else, man, if you let 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 me let me help you let me let me walk you through the first ad, man. So let when you when you're ready for that, schedule a call. Let me let me walk you through that first that that ad setup. Okay. Just to make sure you do it right. Bless you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So so I'll be an email away and, and just schedule whenever you're ready and we'll go from there. You're a star. All right, mate. I appreciate it, man. Have yeah, you're a legend. Day. Or have a good Thank night. You too. Bless okay, you, man. Bless you, later. Yes, sir. Bless you too, brother. Bye bye.